shifting uh, the morning wake up time, that's the best one to manipulate. Uh, don't worry about the um, time to go to sleep at night, but just work on the morning wake up time and everything else will take, its, take place on its own. But if the morning wake up time is at 11 a.m., then move it every three or four days by about a half hour, so ten, make it 10.30, then 10 a.m., then 9.38. So moving it backwards uh, step by step would be a good thing. When the child wakes up, have them exposed to a flood of light, sunlight. Uh, these days is very good because the sunlight uh, exposure immediately upon awakening also helps to set the biological clock of the brain. Uh, and uh, the other thing is that children should avoid any napping during the day. So that way they build up their sleep pressure. And if they build up the sleep pressure during the day, they'll be able to fall asleep quicker at night as well. I think it's a good idea to avoid uh, exposure to electronic media in the uh, half hour or hour prior to bedtime. Um, People use their two hours, but I, I think it's really very hard to have a child uh, stay away from electronic media for two hours. But certainly, I think for about a half hour to an hour before bedtime, avoiding anything electronic. You know, the bed for a child is only to sleep in. If they want to uh, read, you know, if they want to work on their computer or chat with friends, they should do that sitting in a chair in their room, but not in the bed because that dilutes the, uh, the meaning of the bed in the child's mind. Some children have lots and lots of worries and things on their mind. For those kids, it's probably a good idea to keep a little diary. They should write down all their fears, worries, to do items in the diary, and they should do this about two, two and a half hours prior to the desired uh, bedtime. The, uh, the light that is emitted by the electronic uh, device may also suppress uh, melatonin secretion. Uh, melatonin is the uh, sleep-inducing hormone that is secreted by the brain and it is very sensitive to even low quantities of light, low intensities of light. So the light from a, uh, an electronic device might suppress melatonin secretion also.